I can't even take myself seriously <laughs> right now. Okay. Hey everybody, I am very excited. Right here, this is Amy everyone, Amy Readers. She is a comic book artist, but also a knitter. Yeah, that's right. Never thought that I'd like sit down and like chit chat about comics, but mm -hmm. <laughs> because I, I've never, I, comics I've never kind of, I've never connected with them, but I also think it's very cool that you've created this character. Thank you, yeah. And so tell us about Moon Girl. So Moon Girl, uh, so she's a Marvel character and I, along with Brandon Montclair and Natasha Bustos, created Moon Girl and... I love that. Yeah, it's really fun. And you said like she's super smart. Yeah, yeah, she's a genius. She's the smartest uh, in the world, in the Marvel Universe. So, um, and she's only nine. This looks so awesome. I'm Aww, really I'm really into you. this. Thanks. So where can people get this? Um just like Barnes and Noble, comic book shops, Amazon. Amazon. Okay, like, cool. It's, so they can it's everywhere. So you guys can find out about Moon Girl and her adventures. Yeah, and it's and all ages. Adults like it too, but like, like me. your kids can <laughs> Read it, it's safe. <laughs> it's safe. <laughs> Actually, as you're here and you're talking about Moon Girl, who's yeah. a female character, yeah. and you're a female, and we're talking about comic books and knitting, mm -hmm. I'm interested to know how you feel about being a female in what some might say like is a male dominated category as you know for comic book these days like the the amount of women in, that are making comics has definitely grown a lot but uh we're still in the minority but i do get a lot more attention for it as i think probably a lot of male knitters get extra attention for what they do understandably because they bring a new thing perspective mm -hmm. into the medium and i think maybe it just kind of gives you the confidence to be able to weather like being in that Male dominated place. So having that extra support kind of from like your different outlets. Yeah, exactly. Well, you're a comic book artist, yeah. but you're also a knitter. Yeah. And you kind of cross cross worlds. Yeah, a little bit. I draw comics for the same reason that I knit. Like I just like making things. To me, that's like the most important thing in the world is creating. It was more that I was more interested in fashion. Uh, before I got into comics. Ah, interesting. Yeah, I, more sewing. I did a little bit of knitting, but it was all self-taught, so you know. Because you said you're like fairly new at knitting. No, I learned how to knit, but I didn't really make anything very good. Uh -huh. And so I just kind of let Left it, it sit on a shelf for a while until I made like this knight's helmet um, because... We can talk about that. Yeah, oh, yeah. Head. Like my friend, she made a hood uh -huh. And it was actually a lion brand pattern, I think. Ah. And so like this part right here was this hood and she made it and she felt like it was too tight and it looked like a helmet and I was like... Also it's a lion. It, it is, because I get cold. <laughs> um. <laughs> That's not a life that I lead, even though I have yarn <laughs> oh, for veins, really? but I am just like always hot. Uh, it's kind of lumpy, but I, I made this... Uh, like when my friend said that her thing looked like a helmet, I was like, well, I'm going to make a helmet, so... That's so I came up cool. with this and you know got buttons. Do, do you wear it on like in the city? When it's really cold, yeah. <laughs> and it's it's really interesting because conversation starter. If I yeah. Well, usually they just look at you and laugh. What I loved when we when we met actually it, are these. Yeah. Yeah. So this is something that I'm starting to get addicted to because the possibilities are endless. But this is my frog hat, Guys. and again very adjustable to weather, right? Like if it's really cold, you can just walk around like this and I can see through it. She can. Yeah. And then uh, and then you just go like this and out out I come. <laughs> and if it's like kind of cold and you want it closer that's in, that's so why I had it too. First off, I think every knitter and crocheter loves a zipper. I think that's just yeah? like they all. Okay, oh, good. This one's really cool. Oh yeah, yeah. So this doesn't look as crazy, but no, it it's doesn't, really but useful. It's super smart. Look so, at this, guys. Yeah, this is my little bucket head thing. So you can have it like this. And the you ears. You can have it like this. And it you covers can, up. And you could wear it like under a hat, too. Yeah, like over a hat. And it looks like ear, like earmuffs or something. So Amy, I have a question for you in regards to when you knit. Who do you primarily knit for? Like, who, who do you make your things for? Uh, mostly just me. I'm really <laughs> selfish. <laughs> I, I appreciate that. I think a lot of knitters, well, not a lot. I think I'd say 50-50. Yeah. Like, 
people will, but you make really cool stuff. What, what's this that you're working oh, on? Oh yeah, yeah. So this is, uh, I'm, I'm making a sweater for pride. I'm queer, so you know. I was like, I was really inspired by a lot of the gay men that were uh, guests at Knit at Night, and I'm just dropping this everywhere. That's all right. But uh, yeah, so I'm making this rainbow sweater vest, and see it's got, it's got like uh, suspenders that are leading into, on the back, like a cable, like a rainbow cable. That is so, so cool. So have you found patterns for these, or you just create them in your head? I just make them up, yeah. And that's how I am with sewing too, it's like, Again, like, it, it makes it more exciting. You could totally fail, and that adds to the excitement, I think. So. I love that. <laughs> you could totally fail, but that adds to the excitement. If only every knitter and crocheter thought that way, I think we'd have a lot more happier people. <laughs> like, it's like, oh no, this sweater is seven times too big, but I love it because it's super cozy and two people can fit in it. This is like the most like encouraging Tea with Shira episode ever. <laughs> like, you can do it! You can. So guys, thanks for joining Amy and I for some tea, comics, and yarn, and all the fun patterns that I'm wearing. Remember to give this video a big thumbs up, especially because I'm wearing this right now. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can follow Amy on Ravelry, Twitter and Instagram, True. and her information will be below. And all the links to Moon Girl and all the fun stuff that we've talked about today will be in the information below. And Amy, we have a question for them. What's the question? Yeah, I just wanna know, uh, is there a project out there that you've thought up in your head that you were too afraid to just make up? Ooh. I wanna know. I wanna know too. Yeah. We're looking forward to your comments. Bye guys. Bye. And this, yeah, this is my cute little Dutch girl hat. Oh, it's so sweet. <laughs> oh, that is way cute. Way cute, guys. Yeah. Looks like kind of like a swimming cap, kind of like hair. <laughs> I don't, I don't know, know what I look like, but I can only imagine. You are going to love it. It's like you've become a little bit rockabilly now. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>